really, really good. It can't, it, you mm. normally people want to do spot dodge to avoid grabs. You can't spot dodge Pac-Man's grab. Yo, I no. just saw a sub. Who was that? B sharp. B sharp. Oh, Yo, Yo B sharp. Thanks for that sub, man. Shout outs to B sharp, man. How you doing? So now we're gonna move on to winners finals. Sinji staying in the hot seat, fighting against Utopian Ray. Now, both these players have won a Xeno in the past, so they're both contenders for getting into grand finals. But I feel like if you had to ask me right now, gun to my head, who's gonna win this set? I'd be like, why do you have a gun? And then I'd be, and then I'd be like, Utopian Ray. Um, Yo. What's all this anger coming from? We yeah. haven't even... Have we played a set? Do I know you? Honestly. Yeah. It, but no, Ray is probably the one I would probably uh, put, put my uh, bets on. Mm -hmm. Just by the way he's been playing today. I feel like he's been pretty on point so far. And uh, I mean, I would not be shocked if Sinji manages to take it Ooh. away from him. But right, right now, he's doing a phenomenal job. Not letting Sinji touch the stage whatsoever. Just keeping him airborne. Absolutely. And see, there's little things about this matchup that do put it uh, a bit more in Palutena's favor. Up there, it seems... Beats out uh, Hydrant pretty consistently. Like, you can challenge with that, which is not something a lot of characters have the privilege to do. Um, Palutena has that movement speed to get in and pressure Sinji if Ray so chooses, but Ray is also very adept at playing the mid range and waiting. Yes. Which is something that Sinji or any zoner does not want to have to deal with. All right. Facing out without a reticle, taking his time. He's got a lead, he doesn't need to go anywhere. Chilling back again, throwing out the melon. Instead, I respect it. Option to go with the uh, neutral air while holding onto that melon. Absolutely. Very good call from Sinji there to get away from pressure, but Ray, recognizing it, actually jumps early out of shield to get away from the upbeat. One thing that uh, Sinji's been doing is he's been respecting the amount of range that Palutena has whenever he's at that distance. Oh, as I say that, throws out the bell and gets punished for it. Not gonna let him get recovered. Hold on. Yep. We got tons of explosive flames. And depending on how he flicks that stick, the explosive flame can go in different directions, whether it's like a smash attack or so it goes super far, or just a tilt, so it just goes uh Okay, going down stage with the Nair does get interrupted by the trampoline. That's a very good call for the drag down there, especially at this percent where it will probably kill or stage spike. Both of which are very hard to deal with. Good empty hop into grab, sending him off stage again once in eight percent. You know, Sinji was definitely expecting that back air since it's super safe on shield. Oh, he had the right read there, but doesn't quite get it. Does a pivot or a uh, turnaround grab? I it's think. It, like honestly, Ray's been in control, but the one thing he did, can't seem to do is solidify this first kill. He's already got him at almost 180 and no kill in sight. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Sinji's been closing that gap with the percentage, just making him one apple away. Getting the kill or a bell. All right. Very good parry there. That is a strong response. Yo! Able to we catch the up air. Up air. I mean, when you're... Okay. <laughs> Pac-Man's at maximum rage. Utopian Ray was at like 160%. They were kind of high in the air. Kill him off the top pretty easy. Very true. All right. So now, Sinji is dead. <laughs> yeah, he got caught by the grab. And he's gone. Yep. I, I was going to say, Sinji uh, somehow brought this back to where he is now uh, even again with Ray after Ray with a very strong uh, out the gate start, but definitely in neither player's super strong favor yet. We've got to see it play out just a little bit more. He got that peach as well. Playing the fruit. Up air, see, beats it out clean there, even yeah. when it lands. Got that destroyed hitbox, man. It can, it can work out. Mm -hmm. All right. Gotta Sinji watch out waiting, for these cherries. Throwing out some low fruit. Cherries he's and sort of, strawberries, man. He's testing the uh, aggression here a little bit. He got in his face, which you don't see too often from Sinji. Normally, he's pretty content to play back and do setups, but it seems like he's not feeling super comfortable. Takes the jump. Yeah, very oh. hard to air dodge through Explosive Flame. And Ray's going to capitalize on this. No jumps. Had to go for the side B immediately to get back onto that stage. Safe and sound just to recover his resources. And now he has stage control a bit. And you're saying that Sinji was playing aggressive, and I think the reason for that is because of the Explosive Flame, honestly. Mm. Anytime Sinji wants to back off and use Bonus Fruit and try to get ready to throw some items, there is an Explosive Flame at the ready. You see Utopian Ray just spamming it constantly because it's an effective tool as someone that wants to chill back. Absolutely, and one thing about Pac-Man is because he's so set up heavy, even though one could call him a zoner, he doesn't have particularly quick zoning tools. All of his uh, low bonus fruit are pretty short range, pretty slow. Uh, Hydrant isn't going to go anywhere unless he hits it a couple times, so Explosive Flame very fast and very able to pressure it from full screen. Oh! It's the apple again, 152%. Give him the fruit. Yeah, the doctor is in. My man was throwing him at the wall, shield like it was a wall. My man was playing table tennis with himself. <laughs> okay, uh, two stocks to one. Ray Yo. trying to get that spike. And Sinji, Yo! good Chill answer. Out, guys. Sinji has the trampoline <laughs> at the ready after Ray got that spike. Sends him off stage again with the neutral air. Catches him with the explosive flame. Yeah, Still that'll do it. Yeah, that, he is done for. Mm -hmm. 
Yo, they have gotten so aggressive off the stage there. I was thinking, man, one of them's going to just take that stage control, but nah. And they were out for blood. Honestly, it's so weird that they're playing so aggressive because this is a seven minute match and five minutes have already passed. Absolutely. And they're on their final stocks. Could this potentially go to time? All right. Now we can turn into the up air. If we're going to keep connecting these up airs, I mean, maybe. Fair. All right. Charging it. Very hard read right there. Reactable get up attack on that from Sinji. Very good that he kept his cool there. Especially now the time's coming down. I feel like he's had enough experience running out the clock that he knows time is coming short. Great, fantastic tech coming from Ray. Able to get back on that stage. Sending out the troops. And the reflex awesome finally right coming in. Gets the punish with his quickest burst option, a dash attack. Because oh, he yeah. knows if you try to go for a dash guy, might not have caught him. Ooh, that was off by only a few. The thing is, that was a fantastic like fadeaway from Sinji. He recognized that Ray wanted to go for the uh, spike. Mm -hmm. All right. Actually goes for the Galaga out of shield there, which could have been a little risky. That's still a quick option, but not as fast as something like Nair or Fair. All right. Playing over. Ray doesn't want to give him too much space. Is that it? Oh my god. Catches the up air. Ray stealing away game number one. Every single stock. Sinji got it first until the final one that mattered. That was pretty good. It was weird seeing them go uh, aggressive there. Even though while the timer was ticking short, it wasn't necessarily um, life or death. Hey, let's get it going. Come on, come on, come on. The game's going to be over. Um, and I feel like part of that is that Ray wants to sort of shake um, how Sinji plays a little bit. Because if he zones out with Palutena, Ray's got to, or not Ray, uh, Sinji's got to be like, okay, I got to try to put some pressure. I got to send the Hydrant his way predictably, this, that, and the third. And then Palutena's on top of him with Nair, with other things, and he just doesn't have the time to set up. He's got to choose one or the other. He doesn't really have the option to cover both an aggression and de uh, defensive <laughs> play style. Yes. Yes. No, I agree 100%. And we're going straight back to Battlefield. I mean, this is a pretty good stage for both characters, so I understand why they want to do it. Sinji opting to go uh, for the run back. Yep. All right, keeping him up with the explosive flame there. Bear actually punishes the bear out of shield. I don't see many characters that are able to punish that. Manage to find. If there's a will, there's a way, man. Absolutely. All right, so fades away through the platform, doesn't quite get a punish, and is back off stage. All right, Sinji eating a fat amount of percent here 93 within the first minute. Another back air explosive. sends him in. The combo's into the explosive flame. Sinji had to go for a double jump, but again, explosive flame are a really good tool for exhausting that resource. You'll notice Ray goes for it a lot. Yep. Down and throw. All right. Doesn't get the follow up in the instant reverse aerial. Sinji getting back to stage. All right. That is a very good meteor on the ledge right there. Very non committal as well, which is a big theme with Palutena and her ledge pressure. Oh. Nice catch. Very difficult to space out, I feel, when you're off the stage with explosive flame like that. Oh, yeah. All right. Gets a little bit of train, goes for the juggle. Does get the punish after the air dodge. All right, Sinji's not having it. He's not going to get slapped around. He's in winner's finals right now. He didn't get here for nothing. All right, gets full charge of Bell. Charge up smash doesn't quite kill, but a great amount of percent. Right. Crystal's got that dream going on. Try to go for the down throw. Sinji's going to DI and air dodge away to fall, get rid of any sort of follow up that Ray wants to do against him. Very good, although that does give up a lot of stage control, and if Ray wants, gives him the option to go for an edge guard, which Palutena does have quite a few options in her disposal to do that. Uh, Pac-Man no slouch, though. Armor on side B, up B very quick. So I'm going for that counter. Sinji's going to be like, okay, man, here's a grab. <laughs> on my way. Yeah, sure thing, man. That's a nice pose you got. Yeah, done. All right. Okay, now we got Sinji sitting at 101. Mm -hmm. He's trying to chuck the house keys at her. Yep. No deal. I'm no maid. Did not oh, work. explosive flame. Pulls himself off at the water, but it doesn't help. Sitting at 121. I mean, honestly, you use the fire hydrant for the fire. It makes sense. Back throw. Going to be able to live. Great DI from Sinji. Opting to go for the that double jump to escape death. That was not a great air dodge. Didn't get punished by Ray. But, you know, pac has got a pretty strong side B to get the recovery back on stage. He does. He does. I was afraid that Ray was going to come right off of that, but he was waiting him out. He was expecting, I think, a retreat there. Takes the trade, and that trade is definitely in uh, Ray's favor. Absolutely. Um, looking pretty strongly in his favor here on game two. All right. Already stacking up more percent. They're out of shield, but now Sinji really has to put the pressure on, and difficult to do against Palutena, especially when she decides to commit a little bit back. And Ray seems like he's going to do just that right now. Oh, 
And all of that shield. I mean, the thing is, I think Ray is the one that sent that, so that's why it wasn't like an active hitbox towards himself. No, no, but why Why that way? I don't think <laughs> oh, that's Oh, you how. know. <laughs> Explosive Flame was on the right side of the hydrant. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's a fair point. That's mm -hmm. fair. I'm not used to seeing it. Oh, barely oh. avoids the bell. That was scary for Ray. Now he's going to capitalize with these aerials. All right. Actually waits out. That was really smart right there. Hydrant falling on the platform, waits it out, and doesn't throw out the up air because that would have killed his um, potential to juggle Sinji right there. It would have held him in place. All right, Explosive Flame. Not letting him land for free. Trying to throw that the second one. Oh, my God. <laughs> All the flames coming out. He keeps sitting on it. Back right. throw? I mean, hmm. DI might have been a little suspect there. That looked yeah. kind of low angle, but still 103 to nothing. He didn't need this stock. Yeah. We don't need those. I've only needed one. I've been giving you these. But the, the problem is that Sinji's really good at racking up that damage, especially with these Galaxian ship combos, one of the highest damaging combos that he has in his repertoire. Notice how that felt like an incomplete combo, but that still did 30%. Yeah. Things like that. It was supposed to do 60. Yeah. All right. Nair down. Very difficult to punish on that. All right. That is the forward air. Uh, he does not commit. He does threaten the edge guard. OK, Pivot very good read. Grab. Again, yeah, he has to use his double jump. DI is a way to keep his air dodge, to avoid the explosive flame, and saves his life. Mm -hmm. Now, see, this is what I was worried about, is that Ray was trying to go for those hard reads before, but Pac-Man's side B has that generous armor that let him get backstage there, and Ray does give up stage control for it, which may spell trouble. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ray's off stage. Is he just trying to play aggressive? No, no way. No. Using explosive no. flame at disadvantage gets the kill, and Utopian Ray is going to be moving on to grand <laughs> finals. Here at Zeno 151, off of a, a, just a Hail Mary explosive flame. Look, he can't let this man breathe. The, I, the I, fade I, away. The thing is, it's a pretty <laughs> strong option for Palutena. You know, if, if you're just going to sit there, charge a projectile, look at this, right? He Absolutely. sits there. Like, he, all he's thinking about is his bonus free. Because what he should have been thinking about is, like, how can I go off stage and try to capitalize on mm -hmm. this, even though he still had his double jumps. But because he was thinking about, like, he wanted to get the certain projectile, maybe he was trying to go for, like, the bell or one of the later items. And because of that, to focus on that, didn't even think about the explosive flame being an yes. option. And what the thing was with that is that if that was on reaction, that was the thing to do. Um, yeah. If that was a guess, um, then he basically gambled, okay, he so just he's going to Let's be real. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, think, I think Ray, honestly, he had nothing to lose. So just I'm going to throw this out. Yes. So, guys, by the way, some uh, let's go with the over the sits that happened off stream, by the way, because there's sure. one major thing that happened. Milk beat Val Well, King K. Rule gets nerfed. Palutena receives a re-hit. So, you know. Her stuff uh, moves faster, but no changes. But everything about this game so far is there is no clear best character. Yes. Because, like, like people are saying it's Pichu, and some people are like, it's Paldu, and it's like, you know what? They're, they're both good. There's a lot of good characters in this game. Wolf's good. Lucina's good. Absolutely. And I will make an argument. Um, well, two uh, very good candidates for high tier in this game, uh, Lucina and Rob are on the screen is that uh, a lot of the impressions I feel are down to how easy some characters are to pick up. Uh, a lot of people, especially people who play Wolf, will say Wolf is very easy to pick up. Marcina um, has a lot of carryover from Smash 4, a uh, good amount of players towards the end of the lifespan. Rob, a bit more of a setup heavy character. Palutena, kind of easy to pick up. So I feel that maybe as the game goes on, we'll start to see a lot more complex characters sort of shift upwards. Maybe not hit top or high tier, but I do think we'll see changes as the game moves on. Ooh. Oh, they missed the tag. It sent flying through to the stage spike. Dill taking that first stock away from Mystery. Now, Mystery was one of those champions back in the day for Marth. He was like, he actually got wins on the best player of all time for Smash 4. He gets zero multiple set wins. At first, he, at one time, I think he was almost leading in sets until Zero started to adapt to him. But, uh, you know, it definitely has a legacy. To, uh, behind him. Still hasn't found his, like, wings yet in Smash Ultimate, in my opinion. He's still trying to find his uh, way around there in the major scene, but still a threat nonetheless. Opting to go with Lucina this time around. He tried Marth for the longest time in this game, and then he just realized that Lucina is just overall better. Mm -hmm. Mar Th While Marth has to rely on tippers, Lucina? Yeah, very consistent, and many people make the argument that uh, tipper isn't worth it. Like, tipper will be something like, oh, 13 damage, where Lucina gets, I don't know, 11 and a half or 12, and then if Marth misses the tipper, it's like 8. Yeah. So. Uh, Lucina very consistent, and honestly, the skill for Mr. E still shows. I think part of it is so many new matchups that you never would have had to learn before. Most people aren't going to have a Palutena matchup experience going into the yeah. game from Smash 4, and she's way different even if you did. 
All right, very good stage spike in return. Dill should be able to come back from that. Tries yeah. to edge guard with the counter, which was a call out. So Rob has that fuel meter where, it's, depending on how much fuel is left in his tank, he's able to hold on to that up beam. He needs to wait to get back down on the ground to recharge it. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice that sometimes he doesn't use his entire gas tank. There we go, gets the kill. That's going to be a confirm off of that. Not, Not enough quite, to though. actually send the stock, though. Mr. E does know the DI. He's familiar enough with this matchup. All right, very good there. 172%, throwing out some act. He throws at the back air just to make himself face uh, the actual stage with a turnabout. Yep. And Dill playing very passive here because he knows a lot of his out of shield options will beat Lucina's if she lands on him with it. So uh, very hard for Mr. E to get in at this point. All right. Landing up air into up B. I have not seen that one. Q confirmed. Very <laughs> cute is the word. All right. Okay, you're gonna try Reverse to go for this there. edge guard. Now the thing is, whenever Rob goes for that, he can no longer use air dodge. Oh, so, not once. Yeah, no. he, oh, once once he commits to the up B, it, it's been like that since Brawl. He cannot commit to an attack. He just ha or an air dodge. He has to like go in. He can do aggressive options. That's when you can capitalize with, especially when you have a sword like Lucina. Oh my God! That was looking like a Smash Four setup over there. I mean, the thing is, he got him. He was hoping that he was gonna get antsy and use the roll onto the stage. And Mystery has yet to go for that. So Dill was hoping that, that was, this would be the actual time that he does. So he had that up smash at the ready, and it would have got him the game. So I understand why he decided to go for that option. All right, right tries to him. call him out on his shield. Try to go for a triple with that down tilt. Mm -hmm. I think uh, he might be at a little too high of a percent for that to work, but that is a thing he can do. Uh, Good, so saving the double Dill. jumps, not nah. being able to get back to the stage, though, and Dill's going to be taking game one from Mr. E here in loser's semis. Mm -hmm. And Dill showing he's... I feel like I say this about a lot of players, but Dill is very solidly patient uh, through the end of Smash 4's lifespan here at House of 3000. Very known for his Diddy Kong play, very optimized, very patient, very unwilling to take a whole lot of risks. And we see here when Dill has the advantage and he plays back, he will play back. He's like, oh, you know, maybe I could go off for this. I'll, like, I'll go for a hit here or there. I don't need that much. And then he'll go for a tornado. Scoop your ass up, kill you at yes, sir. I think he said 60, 60, 70, it starts killing. Uh, yeah, somewhere around there. Very good. Yeah. yeah. So now we got Smashville coming up as the counter pick. No battlefield or empty here allowed. Pretty good stage for Lucina. You know, like I said, Smashville is a pretty small stage. It allows her to be able to like try to control the pace of the state, uh, the entire battlefield, mm -hmm. not allowing Rob, who wants to sometimes, you know, find some breathing room so he can charge his laser, charge his projectiles. Absolutely. It just has to go into this very close quarters match. And this is the smallest stage in terms of length, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Right? This yes. or Battlefield, one of the two. Yes. So this one very small. Uh, platform Not does as small as WarioWare. Not, <laughs> not as small as WarioWare, but we don't run that here. Not at the moment. We'll see. Uh, I feel uh, stage lists we're still trying to develop. A lot of characters. Uh, I think WarioWare has pretty much been shut down. But yeah. <laughs> no one's been running that. It's got good music, man. Oh, yeah. Everything else, questionable. Those lyrics, man. All right. Oh, All right, right so that's... spacing out well. Did you see how far that is? Going for another confirm, went. but that combo was punishable on hit. So a little bit questionable why he wanted to go for it. There, guts this stage spike. And Mr. you know, ready. Mr. E was only using that up B as a get off me option. Okay. Just going to fall into there. Everyone's exploding. Two stock match here on Smashville. <laughs> Less yeah. than a minute has gone by. All They're right. just slugging it out. Absolutely. They both got the swipe, too. Lucina and Rob both. They both smack you away. Yes. They're throwing their full bodies into it. This isn't anything to play patient with. Not for the character. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So trying to make good use of dropping down from the platform there, but Dill always in his face and ready to punish. Yeah. That was a misspaced uh, forward air, too. You saw him like run right into the shield. Dill trying to get that, that once again, the triple down tilt was a little bit too far away. Mystery had, goes for, you'll realize that Mystery likes to go for Dolphin Slash whenever he's being comboed, because it's a really good burst to get off me moves. It comes out super quick, has some invincibility on the startup. Yep. So. Of course, it is also very punishable and very, uh, yeah. It's like a short Heart commitment in a yes. fighting game. Like Wake they, up it's really good, and it, once it, if it lands or in the beginning, but if they see it coming, it is extremely punishable. Absolutely. Get up there. Reverse aerial rush back here. My man is flying. Yep. And very difficult to punish that even if it doesn't hit. Gets him with the up out of shield. That is also a Smash 4 classic. Yeah, dude. Another short you out of shield. Mm -hmm. So the thing with that is that um, Mystery, the times I've been seeing him on stream, it seems like he's trying to use that, maybe not gratuitously, but far more than I would expect. Um, and threatening an invincible reversal is always something you want to do, but um, 
stuff like ending the combos with it where it was unsafe seems like a little bit much. We'll see. All right. As the top keeps him off stage, tries to go for the down air combo off of the top there, which would have been super sick, but doesn't quite get it. Well, Still he, had, he had him off stage without his double jump and the gyro in control, so I respect Mr. E's decision to want to go off there and try to like capitalize on that. Couldn't and find, you know, find his mark. Ooh, but, good tech. Yeah, the tech saving Dill's life. I mean, uh, R button a day keeps death away, man. Okay. Great counter from Mr. E. Counter? Recognizing that Dill was going to go for the up air afterwards. Extremely smart setup. I didn't the even know there were that many frames open to go for the counter on that. Smart stuff. Absolutely. Okay. There he goes, still chilling on that stage. Gonna re-grab onto the ledge. I like that he didn't go for the ledge immediately because Mr. E had an F-Smash waiting for him. Goes for the Dolphin, slashes to get him off him. Mm -hmm. Playing super aggressive off stage. Gets the forward air. Not no. enough to get the kill just yet. Still has 100. He's giving him off him. One more swipe, <laughs> one more death, one more game. Mr. E taking it into a 1-1 one, one matchup. Goodness gracious. And Rob with so much to mix up his recovery. The problem is, is that if you get those right reads, if you connect once, twice, he starts running out of options. Oh, my fuel's running out. Oh, I've air dodged a little too much. I'm running out of the invincibility. And if you see right here, he tries to go through again, and he runns out early. Not gets happening. Clipped. Mr. E with a very solid presence off stage there. That's excellent. Swipe him away. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it, like, it went for the air dodge because... I think there might have been like a thing where Dill was using a lot of air dodges to try to get back to the stage, so it might have been stale. Mm -hmm. but the forward air is, you know, he caught like the very like last tail end of it, so like the air dodge frames wore off. Yes. So he might have been able to like, you know, abuse that whole like de decay system where if you use too many rolls or air dodges or slot dodges that they, they don't, the invincibility doesn't last as long. Mm -hmm. And that may not have been an intentional thing, but I think when you do hit someone out of it, um, the little the wave that people make when they air dodge, the way they move their body. I think um, if you let the uh, air dodge have full freshness, uh, then they'll start going into recovery when it's vulnerable. But if it's stale, you'll start seeing that they're still in the same pose and they'll get head out of it, which is what it looked like Dylan happened with right there. So taking to town and city for the counter pick, I'm not actually sure what the reasoning behind this would be. I assume platform. Big stage. It allows them a lot of room to play around with and try to keep, stay away from Mystery's close quarters combat style, mm -hmm. CQC. Yes. But, and also, you know, town city has a little bit smaller blast zones. So he's able to get kill confirms off of down throw a little bit sooner. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my god, Mr. E is turning up the heat right now. If only he can put those blast zones a little farther behind him. Yeah, my man. I mean, the thing right. is, those spikes are a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Tries to get really greedy there with Tornado. He wants to take advantage of those short blast zones. Not having anything off of that. So, Mr. E coming back from losing game one to a very close game two set to now taking a strong lead at the beginning of stage three. Trying to avoid that back here. Hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. Still spacing out. He's still trying to pay this a little bit more patient. Okay. Was a job, right? Point blank in his face. Good chase and good reaction on the missed tech. Gets him off stage. Edge guard scenario once again. Fails the back air. Actually lands before the hitbox comes out. That is unfortunate and a punished scenario for Mr. E. Just keeps going. No tech. To, uh, no way for him to land that down on the ground. That's one, one thing that Rob sometimes struggles with. Once he's up above state, like above above the uh, opponent with no double jump, he can struggle to find his way back down to the stage. Absolutely. And Especially as fuel starts to run low and he can't quite mix up his landing. Uh, that should be a kill confirm. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes. I mean, the thing is, because he was at too high a percent, he couldn't even get the counter out in time. Mm -hmm. Like he did that one time. So here we go. Two stocks apiece. Uh, Dill was just one back air, forward air off stage away from death. Mm -hmm. Trying and to stall a bit. Yep. There even. Yeah. Yep, good call out. That's very low commitment, covers a lot of options, and if he lands, he can go for a uh, roll get in punish as well. And he just starts right off the bat with 31 damage into his, in his potential last stock. Yep, the parry on the Nair. It was late hit though, so he's not going to pick up a punish on that one. So early hit Nair is kind of hard to react to, but if you get the parry, you get a punish. But late hit Nair, although reactable, if he's landing, it's very difficult to get a punish on. So you really have to be on top of Dill's habits with the Nair. And honestly, that counter from Mystery looked like a reaction because if Neutral Air does have a, like a wind up to it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you can normally tell with the spacing as well whether oh, or not the first hit's going to hit. Hold on a sec. Mystery's going for this edge guard. Yep. He some four he's putting up go. those fares. Slapping this man away. You're Dill, not getting back to the stage. Dill is praying to God that he has this platform to play with right now because it's, it's oh. the only reason why he's staying alive. This oh, is dangerous, greedy though. Greedy counter. But Dill needs to get this kill right now if he wants to stand a chance. He's got him at 55%. If he can just try to steal this stock early, All right, he could still be a contender for this fight, but Yo! not happening. Gets the back Bear, here out, out of, of shield. shield. Gets him. <laughs> he is done for. My man, Mr. E.
bringing it back from what looked like a set that was going to be insanely in Dill's favor. He's going to move on to Grand Finals to face off against Sinji. Dill going down with a fourth place finish. And what an absolute adaptation. That was, he reacted to the whiff throw. He was like, this is my time. Yeah. If, I, if I'm being, uh, if I, if I want to be real for a second, mm -hmm. I would love for Sinji to go all the way with this tournament. He's one of my favorite players from like the Smash 4 era. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I've always been like, man, he's not just, he's just not picking up ultimate the way I want him to, you know? Like he's, he's been struggling with it. At a distance where you're safe, understanding where your moves can hit, can't hit. It plays into everything. And Marth is one of the characters most, uh, it's tied to his character, Optimal Space Engine, yes. since Melee. So it's interesting to see him pull that out here, but let's not knock his adaptation as well. Pulling out a lot. Already going for the aggressive up these off stage. He's not playing around. Now this is a matchup that uh, Mystery is no stranger to from the previous game. He has fought against Sinji time and again. You know, his back around like the, pretty much the back of his hand. I'm pretty sure they've played an ultimate as well. But you know, once a completely different character from the last game in terms of like his grabs working. Now he has to like do a couple of new setups. Gonna off the void away from that bell. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So he does know that the best thing is to just get out of there while he can. Very nearly kills. Smashville, I'm surprised he didn't get knocked off the top, but that's just fine. So I do feel that this matchup, oh, he gets pushed away by the water and denied a punish on that one. All right, catches the bell, threatens it off stage with far is a little too far. All right, oh, scary. Ledge attack? I mean, that was a brave ledge attack. I, I get why he say. went for it and he ended up living, so why not? He, he really had to pick his poison on that one. Yeah. He had to eat something. And he's going to eat that apple, man. He's going to set flying into the back. It's going to be the first stock going in Sinji's favor. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Now, what's different about this trampoline is you have the ability to hit it. But Mystery's just going to kind of play patient right there. There's really no reason for him to approach him at that point. Mm -hmm. And then having the ability to hit it, uh, which I think was in the previous game as well, uh, means hitbox extension. Same thing with the uh, hydrant, which is what Pac-Man wants you to do. He wants something that he can react to. Toss a fruit, hit you with an aerial or two, reset, start over. That was a good setup. If, he would, if Mr. E would have been aware of where the, that cherry was going to send him, that could have been an up smash and a death waiting for him. So it was very smart of him to throw it right down there in case Sinji went for the get up, uh, let normal get up like he did. And notice right there that Mr. E had done the same thing we were talking about earlier. Um, where he jumped to the side and was set to meet Sinji in the air after he dropped the Hydrant. Sinji fading back and resetting to ledge, though. All right, trampoline. Ooh, that's a scary spot to be. Trying to clip him with the up tilt. Mm -hmm. All right. Back here at a shield, gets the kill. Mm -hmm. Very clean option. Uh, not too committal on that. Very good for kills. Hits him with the Gal... Uh, Galaga. Galaxian. Galaxian ship, yeah. Galaxian The first ship. game, the first game. Yeah. I Galaga is technically a sequel. I always forget that Galaga is a sequel. Though. Yeah, right? The Smash 4 actually taught me that. So, okay, we got the power pellet. All right. Back on stage, goes straight to ledge on this one. Doesn't bother going down low. Probably doesn't want to deal with the mix ups off stage. Dolphin Slash into stage. Even if it is techable, it is a tech scenario into death if you fail. I love how Deep Mystery went for that four air because he recognized that. Pac-Man, Sinji wants to recover that low. He wants to go as deep as possible. Great catch with that back air. As Mystery's going to steal the lead mm -hmm. away he, from Sinji. He stole the lead, and he swiped that pellet right out of his hand. Yeah. It's not snack time for this man. You've got enough fruits in your hand. you got to share. Are you rhyming right now? Are those bars? Were they? <laughs> My god. Oh, here we go. All right. Trying to go for that dancing play. Sinji's just going to be able to double jump out of that situation. Mm -hmm. Does land on the Hydrant with a dare, but Sinji spaced out to where he can't get a proper punish for it, and trying to hit middle of the dare hitbox would be kind of balls. And honestly, that's a common setup for Sinji, to go for that trampoline onto the ledge, because what happens is he gives himself like kind of like a fortress, mm -hmm. where it's hard for like the opponent to penetrate it and try to get in there and uh, you know abuse him, because the trampoline's going to mess up their spacing. Mm -hmm. It's... All right, good confirm off that. It is very difficult, and especially if you don't have a character with a projectile or something that can penetrate that without... Um devoting yourself to an option, you do have to force an option on that. You have to choose to jump, I have to choose to take out this trampoline, this or that. All the while, Sinji is charging his fruit, getting the fruit salad ready, and you're going to have to eat that at some point. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to get your good I don't want to. I don't, don't want to eat it. Mr. E doesn't want to eat it. He's going to keep <laughs> you know, swiping it away with his butter knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pac-Man's taking those vitamin C power pellets. He doesn't need all this fruit. Yeah. It's all right? for you. All right. So Sinji playing a keep-away game right here. He's doing his best to set up, but Mystery doing a good job of keeping the pressure on him. 
And he's trying to land with these up airs. There's a very safe tool for Lucina. Oh, good bait. Out. That was an extremely good bait for a mystery. He recognizes he's probably going to go for a grab. Just rolls away instead of opting to go for the spot dodge, which works against most grabs. Yes, and that is one of the largest punish windows you'll ever see in almost any matchup against a Pac-Man is the grab, which he has to do. He has to do that to try to enforce, to make sure that you're not always shielding every setup. You know um, he's punishable because of the look on Pac-Man's face when he whips that grab. Oh, he looks yeah. so sad. He knows. He knows he's about to enter a world of hurt. All right. So he actually goes up with the water on the hydrant there, which gets him out of shield. Interesting. Was that to try to catch him on reaction to the trampoline? Because that was a little greedy. I'm yeah, not going to lie. Honest to God. He might die for that. Oh, mystery. Uh, okay. Hydrant's out of the picture. See him applying, shield. He's trying to apply pressure with these forward airs as well. Has him off stage, all total stage control in Mr. E's Nair. favor. Nair is a really safe option for him to go for on the ledge. Because he's gonna be able to time it just right to roll off stage. Stay away from him, he's gonna try to set up shop with the hydrant. Mr. Yeah. E's gonna ignore it completely. Doesn't even wanna bother with it. Still gotta be conscious of it though, because the water can mess up punishes and even hit you into Pac-Man setup. That was a sick grab. There was no way that was on reaction. Let's go, Yo. Mr. E. Go for the Z drop, gets the stun, gets the forward smash, and is taking away game one from Sinji. What is this what is this tournament? Mr. E's actually look at, look at that. <laughs> going through New York City right now. Yo. Z drop into the ding, ding, smash. baby. Eat this punish. Oh, my God. Oh. I love the item play coming out from Mystery. It shows you that he just knows the matchup so well. And he's also, like, one of his training partners from, like, back in the day was always against Diddy Kongs. And so, like, he knows the item play from just playing with a banana peel, learning how to Z drop. And the, the same type of play applies. That's why I feel like people should, like, try practicing with items on sometimes. Absolutely. Sometimes, just to get, if, if they're not playing against a character that already has it, because it's really good to have no item play for those certain matchups. It is, and you know what? Now that you'd mentioned that, uh, I had said before that there was no way that could have been reaction, but the way that Mr. E had spaced that, how he could not have possibly hit Pac-Man unless Pac-Man was going to aggress, which he wasn't, uh, that was an intentional grab. Yeah, he knew exactly what he was doing. Absolutely. Good job. Meets him in the air again. Mr. E really is on fire today. Good God. And he right. a, he, the thing is, with Mystery, he has not won a single Xeno yet for Ultimate. So, like, he's the only one. Like, Sinji's won in some Xenos. Uh, Utopian Ray has won a couple Xenos. Mystery yeah. is zero. So, this would be, like, this is, a, this is a big moment for him, for him to win this set and move on to Grand Finals to potentially, you know, try to get a reset against Ray. But let's yeah. see if he can try to follow through. I don't want to count Sinji out just yet. No, absolutely not. This is still very much doable for either player. Both of them very solid. Mr. E playing with confidence, though. Nice stuff. He baited out the fade away from the double jump and waited for him just to come back in a second time before going for that final swipe. Yep. All right. Gets hit by the narrow out of shield. Very quick option for Pac-Man. Good for get off me's. Mr. E reading it right there, but doesn't get the punish off it. All right. Jumps over Galaxian. Patience. Very yeah. nice. And he whip punishes the forward smash, which is impressive. Okay, uh, Mystery didn't, could not follow up actually because the trampoline was in the middle and the hydrant was covering the top of the platform. Very smart, like, get away card for Sinji. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jail free card. And he's playing over towards that mid stage, taking all the time he needs to charge up. And Mystery looking at kill percents for some of the bell setups here. He's got to be mindful. All right. Wow, Good shield call. coming out in the nick of time. You saw Mystery baiting it out. Mm -hmm. He's chilling on that platform for a reason. Notice how he's staying right on top of Pac-Man so that way he can cross him up if oh he gets hit by a no god! That didn't even spike, it stayed spiked. Mr. E, three stocks to one. So this is very difficult now for Sinji because he has to either play ultra patient and just hope he gets enough damage over five minutes to bring it back, or he has to aggress. Uh, and Pac-Man does not have the easiest time going full aggression. Doesn't get the kill on 132. Doesn't get the kill with the Peach. Apple beats it out clean. Doesn't get hit by any Fire Hydrant today. You can't put out Mr. E's fire that quickly. All right. Good call. And we have not seen any of that Rekka all day. None of the uh, Dancing Blade, but uses it there, spacing out, and as a punish. And I respect that up tilt for trying to catch Sinji's landing right there, because he could have gone for a forward smash, but that's a guessing game, whereas you're going to land left or right, so the up tilt covers both options. Yep, and it is more commitment. Or, well, just barely. Both of them have 
not too long. And you don't need to go for a kill at that percent just yet. Especially when you have this strong of a lead, just go for like the little bits of damage and try to rack it up slowly. Because you have the ability to trade now. At this point, trade all your swings. Just try to like, that's why he's going for these Dancing Blades so hard. Because he knows if he gets hit, it's not that big yeah. of a deal. And Dancing Blade is such a huge uh, source of damage. Exactly. And speaking of Dancing Blade, notice how Sinji there, he had air dodged the final hit from Mr. E trying to avoid Dancing Blade and get a punish. But then Mr. E canceling it early Counter. to keep himself safe. Again? All right. Oh, he tried no, to go for it a second it. time. Yeah, a little too late on that one, but still a good call. And 95% with a full stock lead. All right, clean call, baiting out the hydrants. Sinji very much has to make a comeback on this one. Okay, that's yeah. a good way to start. Try to go for the spot dodge. Again, doesn't work out. Sinji struggling to find his way back down onto the stage. Going to chill below, go for the, champ the pack jump. All right. Mystery trying to play around that shield, goes for the raw dancing blade, just to apply some shield pressure as well. Yep, exactly. And Mr. E looking very bold right now, got a large lead, so shouldn't be too afraid to go for some of the riskier options that can net kills, but... Sinji needs to play patient. Yes, you cannot get too aggressive oh, on this, no. that's it. Back yeah. here at a shield, Mystery taking out Sinji in a loser's final. Sinji going down with a third place finish again, twice in a row. Not the hands of any of this time around, but at Mr. E? Of all players? Mr. E going on to grand finals now. The face off against Utopian Ray. By the way, I want to add, guys, mm -hmm. I don't think Utopian Ray has won as, you know, ultimate. I, I, Devin had to like, correct me. I think I was thinking of Frozen, who won his first. Uh, I think Ray has won. Uh, no, not one? Not one. Not I, I one. thought he did, but Devin's shaking his head, so I'm going to go with the fact that he yep. doesn't. So we have two. If you make mistakes, you got to rectify it right away. Mm -hmm. Sort of matchup right here. And Ray's patient. Ray is very consistent. So if he gets in, he's going to have to get in and stay in to keep this going. All right, starting on PS2. Now, these guys already fought previously. Utopian Ray is the one that actually sent Mr. E to losers. So this is technically their second set they're playing today. Mm -hmm. So honestly, things are looking kind of in Ray's favor based on that alone. But who knows? Maybe Mr. E like, powered up. He leveled up in the yeah. side of the bracket. Like something changed because... Especially because he hasn't left the seat yet. He's like staying staying in that hot seat. He's keeping Yo. all that momentum. That's actually a thing. That's a solid point right there, actually. He's got that uh, hyperbolic time chamber seat going on. He's getting 100 years of training in a single set. But can he adapt? Mystery has been very on top of his adaptations tonight so far. Can he come back and take his demon down? We'll well, find out. We shall see. There he goes, trying to go for that trump a little bit too late on that. Has him off stage. It's gonna be hard to like try to find. It's gonna be completely different than from like trying to edge guard Pac-Man in the previous set. Mm -hmm. He's got because uh, Palutena has the ability to just be able to warp, get back on the stage instead yes. of trying to like go off stage and challenge her with the porter. She just kind of has a nope. Just going back to stage now. Not only that, but going off to challenge against Palutena means giving up stage control because she can do that warp back. Very difficult to punish for most characters. Even fast characters can get. You know, only so much off of it. Okay, Explosive Flame, early up B, doesn't have a jump, so a very awkward scenario. Ray with the good edge guard. Yeah, great bait coming out from Ray. You saw him immediately following him, following his distance. Over the double jumps into the fast fall. All right, flares for the parry there. Uh, Marcina, a lot of single hits, and the double hits that she does have can be beaten out with single hit parries, so it is something to go for in the matchups like this. Gets him with the up tilt, and it kills off the top. Holy cow. Sent flying into space, flying. So still very even here. Both of these characters are uh, pretty good on conversions. Palutena probably a little bit better, but um, Mystery's still making it work here. Tying up the percents. Oh, going for a lot of empty stuff right here. He doesn't want to bait out too much. All right, Dash Attack could have been punished, but didn't quite have it on stage then. That was actually a forward tilt. Oh, uh, that was yeah, a forward yeah. tilt? Oh, we'll my mistake. The forward tilt out of yeah. Yes. Way safer option. Oh, my. Oh, that was intelligent, though. I, I'm almost mad at that, but I respect you, Toby Ray, for going for that. My God. Ray, when he has those creative punishes on hand, you know they're like, this what? isn't an... This isn't like, oh, I just barely got it. He knows. Wind he knows are powerful, dog. Absolutely. No, not I again. Okay, okay. A second time. Oh. Not, not quite the spacing he needed, but I don't think... Mr. Oh, he wanted, a, he wanted the spike, too? Ray is going all in. He's like, no, this is my tournament. I, like, <laughs> we may have been building like this underdog story for Mystery to like come in and win this tournament, but Ray is having none of that right now. No, absolutely. And Ray not taking a single Xeno himself. That almost killed. Has a little bit of an underdog story of his own. Only separated now by the winners and losers side next to their name. So we will see. There we go, forward tilt just to punish that whiff dash attack. Yep, threatens off stage, doesn't want to go too far and tries to catch any potential warps, does get thrown off. 
All right, Explosive Flame just whipping, and Mr. E keeping his jump. That's very smart. You don't want to burn it against Palutena if you can help it. All right. There we go. Ooh. Up tilt. Slow falling down, Explosive Flame. Oh, go down there. Yo, clips him coming up off the ledge, there though. There we go. All right. This is really difficult, though. Raise Palutena, very safe. Not too committal, and he only needs to throw out a couple options like that. Dancing Blade, a very punishable option. You know, Mr. E, uh, Ray was just saying they're trying to catch him with the up smash as well. Yep, looks for the juggle, just barely dodges out of the way of that grab. That was very smart to keep out of the way. And now, that's a full punish! Ray, Ray has him at that percent where if he manages to catch an explosive flame at this point, that's going to be uh, Mystery stock. Yep, that's it. All those out with bears. back airs. There's, uh, you saw Mystery trying to like go in between the back airs to catch it. That's such a... Back air is an extremely safe option. Let's, wa let's watch these back airs really clo clo close. Yes. Right here, right here. Go. It's the one, two. Throwing them out again so, and again. He tried to let go of shield to go for that third punish right there. Mm -hmm. I don't think that shield I poked. That, no, no, I think that was a shield poke. I don't think that was released unless he was jumping out of it shield It looks there. like he's letting go of shield like a frame before. I think it would have shield poked and he recognized it was going to hit his head. So he let go of shield to try to react. He dropped it? Yeah, he definitely dropped it. Look at him. He drops the shield. Hey, look at that. He dropped the shield right there. Oh, There's a frame. Shoot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would have thought that would have come out with I the parry then, because I think honestly, parry's frame one. Honestly, I think he would have uh, shield poked anyways. Like yeah, that's the thing. That yeah. was, um, I think parry out was the only thing to do there. And even if he had gotten that parry, that's not a very strong punish. Yeah. But interesting. You can ask him out of the game. But going to game two now, uh, counter pick to, I always forget, is this Yoshi's story or island? Story? Okay. Yeah. Story. One of these days, I will come. The it thing to is, one. I just, I just say Yoshi's melee, Yoshi's brawl. That's, that's <laughs> how I remember. Because I, I know that this is definitely melee, and I know the other one's definitely brawl. Yep. No Randall in sight, so we've got no support for these two ladies. It's gonna be whoever can duke it out the best. Yeah. So Rest Ray, he's Cloud. Ray, yeah, right. I mean, Cloud's still in the game. Oh yeah. yeah Randall, Rest Randall Rest evolved into OG Cloud. Randall evolved into a sword fighter. But here we go <laughs> into one game away from Ray taking home the entire tournament of Xeno 151. Remember, guys, this is best two of three because we want to go home. It is Wednesday night, almost midnight, almost Thursday morning. We got work in the morning. Mm -hmm. Can't Absolutely. have any of that. But see, mystery. I think, in my heart of hearts, that he feels it. He knows I've been on fire today. I can't go home with second place. Not like this. I am going to fight. And you so, recognize Mystery was trying to go for that fadeaway up air because it really goes for it again. Oh, no. It's really, Get really getting him here. hurt here. Ray's been on point with just catching these uh, offstage edge guards, mm -hmm. these forward airs. And this calls back to what I was saying before. Mystery going for a lot of. Um, I suppose what I would call oddly placed uh, uppies, like the early dolphin slashes, things like that, maybe to try to catch an aggressive option from Ray, but he doesn't necessarily need to have an aggressive option on the board. Right now he can play patient, especially with this stock lead. That nearly went away when I said it. Maybe I'll, uh... Oh, there we go, catches the roll on stage. Not enough to get the kill just yet, 173%. Yep, auto reticle adding on like one or 2% more there, still very even. Fantastic patience from Mr. E. You saw him just waiting on the middle of the stage until Utopian Ray opted to go for the kind of a greedy warp to the middle of the stage, where Mr. E was waiting. Yep, Mr. E has been threatening the off stage a lot and only occasionally going for it. So I think then uh, Ray finally took the bait and he managed to get the punish on him. All right. Footsies, neutral. It's very difficult to get in on Lucina unless you're like, you've got a good feel for her. All right. Oh, oh, that is a punish. All right, gets a little bit aggressive on there. That fair would have done wonders, not quite. Goddess Wings is punishable on whip from that range. One the, the smash four. Uh, honestly, <laughs> that was just mashing coming out for Mystery. You saw him just swing that sword as hard as he can. Now Ray's starting to do it too with these up airs. He's trying to catch these landings. Has him off stage again. Going to go super deep in the yeah, back no here. Jump. Yeah, another kill off this left side. The second you catch your opponent without the resources to be able to recover back on the stage, you just got to go off there. There it is. <gasps> no, that could have been it. Oh, oh, Mystery reacted a little too late. Mm -hmm. Wasn't recognized what was going on. Yep. He's, he's, he's running out of steam. I th I, this is looking like Mystery's running out of steam, and Ray, Ray is just dominating. No, 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 no. The, we're looking, what we're looking at here is an opportunity to gain a second wind. And I yeah. truly believe... Okay, interesting option there that does get you up a little bit faster than a normal neutral getup, but does put you in a lot more punishable frames. Okay, I, think neutral. If, I think if Mystery takes a stock like soon, like in the next five seconds, he can win this game. Yes. But it might be a little bit too late for him to catch a second win because now these neutralers are starting to come out. Yeah. And did try to get the punish on the neutral air, but that move is pretty safe on shield. 
Alright. Waiting. Auto reticle. He wants him to come in. Come to me. Let me get this Mr. Percent. <laughs> Mr. Percent, Mr. E. Yes, sir. Let Mr. me Mr. Percent. Mc kill you. Mr. E has Mr. 68%, man. I mean, he's looking at that. Runs up, up tilt. <laughs> he's not out of the fight just yet. Yep. Mr. Right. E's still fighting on his tournament, tournament stock. See if Ray can do something Ooh, about it. Ooh, okay. Our, that was breaker. actually smart. Very good. That's arguably the farthest she can reach out with her sword with an attack. So a good way to keep Ray back, who has been pretty grounded for a lot of his uh, ledge pressure. Yeah. When he's not going off for the edge guard. All right. Four. Fairing it out. And it's even again. Yeah, Mr. I I'm telling you, you just need that momentum shift. Hold on a second. Oh, wait. Nicole's there already go. got the trump, has him off stage. Not going not gonna to try to gamble to go off there because of warp. Yep. Trying to bait it out instead. Avoids the explosive flame by going for the jump just in case it went on top of him. Yep. Down, Down tilt at the ready. He's trying to two frame him with that because I could easily set up into a forward air off stage. Yep. Applying you shield see pressure. That, you see these fall fairs. Fair. Yes. Fall fair auto cancel into another fair to keep the shield pressure up. He does not want this man pressing buttons. 82% on Mr. E. Get oh, he gets it! Back here off the platform. Second wind achieved. Yo. Mr. E. Bring this to a game three situation. Ray is shaking his head. One game away from potentially resetting the bracket. Mm -hmm. Resetting the bracket and then taking it to an even grander finals. But we're not there quite yet. Mr. E still has a long way to go, and Utopian Ray is no slouch. Mm -hmm. so, we'll see what the counter pick is. Pokemon Save 2, two not shocked at all. One of Palutena's favorite stages of all time. Mm -hmm. Very long stage, longest out of the legal stake pitches. Um, has a little bit of a jank with the underside of the stage, which arguably could make things a little bit interesting for recovery, but we will see. Uh, platform's good for her combos, especially because she likes to carry you off the stage. She can get follows up with uh, Fair. That is a single parry, but that's still stylish nonetheless. All right, Nair to Fair off stage, 50% in the first 10 seconds. All right, already. All right, so he did frame trap him. Well, not frame trap, but he trapped him there with the up tilt air dodge, but doesn't quite get a punish off of it. All right, that that looked like it was a punish. It maybe Ray had a frame or two there where he tried to do something, but E grabbed him out of it regardless. Ooh, going for the hard kill. He wants his stock early. He's fishing for it. Right. Little parry flare there. Goes very hard. That does give up stage control to Palutena, which maybe isn't the best call, but he's got a little bit percent to... Oh, he's just shot off. I see. Get back to the ground. With Okay, that is punishable at that range. Got to keep him airborne. Oh, crosses him up and then goes for the forward smash. Playing extremely patient. Gets him with the back air, clips the jump recovery. Nice job from Mr. E, and he has taken that first early stock. Now off stage against Palutena. All right, safe bear, fair. All right, works his way back to middle stage. And that still clipped him! Clips him yet again with an up air. <laughs> Ray on a rampage. Good lord, that thing is active. All right. Good parry, no follow up out of it. Nair, Nair follow up, actually drops out of the second hit. All right. Waiting him out. Playing out Ooh. neutral, goes for the... Okay, grab follows up, does get to trade his way out. Okay, very good. Dash attack is invulnerable on that shield. Very good for trading or clanking in general. Catches him back when he goes for the warp. Very good for Mr. E to fade away there. No jump, gets him when he air dodges back. That was a great auto reticle. Catches the down air on the um, warp onto the ledge. And now Mystery one stock away from resetting the bracket. That whole sequence didn't feel particularly aggressive, but the entire time he was like, no, nah, I know this option's going to be here. You're yeah. getting punished for that. You're getting punished for that. That there will be a punish. Nice up. catch from Ray. One stock away from winning the tournament himself. All right. Very go. even. Actually trades there and then combos the trade into another up air. That was cool. Oh, those were not spa well spaced forward airs. Ray's going to capitalize on it, bringing him to 50% damage already. Mm -hmm. Had to go for the double jump, try to avoid the follow up. Gets caught mashing in the explosive flame with that neutral air. Off oh, stage. does he have his jump? 
It raised where aware that he has no jumps, no resources. Oh my god, he just barely makes it. Dolphin slash off stage, 117%. He's looking for the explosive flame. He backs up to go for the explosive flame right there. Could have gone for a ledge guard situation, yeah. but chooses not to. He wants to play it a bit safe and gets him with the air. He catches the up air, sends him flying. Utopian Rage, your Xeno 151 champion, not allowing Mr. E to reset the bracket because that was scary for a second. You saw Mr. E having the lead that entire time, catching a second win, getting steam to work with, but just could not clutch it out. And that fadeaway up air, I feel like I've seen so many games ended, so many hearts broken by that. But that, that got, is that, such that a that symbol right there, option. that goddess symbol, mm -hmm. there it is, man. I mean, that, there you go, that's a goddess first all, man. Kid, uh, Kid Icarus is only, Palutena, yet another Palu taking a W yep. here at uh, Zeno. And Utopian Ray with his first Zeno win, but Mr. E coming in clutch with the number Second two. place. That's still honestly his, fantastic. That's his highest placing since. I mean, there are a lot of heavy hitters here. You know, both Sinji and Venio were in attendance. Mm -hmm. uh, I know we were missing some players. I know Jen wasn't here, Frozen wasn't here, but that's still the phenomenal placing. 98 players. Nothing to, you know, you can write home about that. Uh, plus, got some money in your hands. Yo, got some absolutely. money to take home with that. Yo, and then on top of that, we had, like you said before, mm. an interesting bracket. Uh, Venya knocked out early. Uh, Bankai and Jewel really coming in high up into uh, top eight. Yeah. So this has been a show. It's it been has. a lot different. I'm so used to uh, quite a lot of Pac-Man, quite a lot of Palutena, but there was a lot of mix-up. It, was, it was definitely a mix-up. Well, guys, uh, we're going to get an interview with...